Welcome to How to RC. This is the Heron Project. I cut out the hole and installed the elevator servo. What I also okay, so I put a piece of six million uh, eight inch uh, plywood. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's three millimeter inside, you know, with a hole cut in it the same size as the servo to give it a whole lot more strength and, and glued it in with a little bit of Gorilla Glue. So that's pretty much ready to go. I think what I'm going to do in order to install this is I'm just going to take and put a little RTV around it. This is RTV. It's a Permatex product. It's an automotive product. You can pick it up at any automotive store. And I believe the home improvement stores have it in the glue section. Maybe not all of them. All right, RTV is an air curing silicone. They use it for gaskets. It's also a pretty good adhesive. And for our purposes, it'll be an adhesive and a waterproofing over here. Makes a gasket to keep the water out. I've already used some over here. I cut a hole and brought my three motor wires out through the side of the nacelle and I put uh, RTV around them, pulled them out a little too far, put RTV around them and then stuffed them back in I just held them together with the, uh, the elastic band so that when you mount the motor you can bring these wires right up here and, and plug your motor wires right in. Now if you need to change the motor or want to change the motor for more power or less power or more RPM or for whatever reason, you can just unplug it, screw the new motor on, plug it in, and go about your business. I also decided where the speed control is going to go. I'm putting the speed control up here. I'll cut three little notches in this bulkhead for the wires, including the servo wire. It goes underneath this red wire. So that they come flush. And uh, so that's where that's going to be. I'm going to tuck all of these wires, the uh, motor wires, are all going to be tucked up against the port side of the fuselage, keeping them as far away as I can from the receiver, which I'm going to put over here. And then my servo wires will run that way. Well, that one's kind of tangled up. But anyway, my servo wires will run over here, away from those wires, so that we don't get any inductance between the uh, pulsating current going through the motor wires and the servo wires. I glued a piece of plywood on the front of the nacelle for the motor. I designed it for this motor. Unfortunately when I made this motor mount uh, I made it a little too short and the motor sticks out the back just a hair. I had to drill a little hole in there. If you may use a, a motor with an X mount, this is where we call it an X mount, EDX, you also see that the shaft protrudes out the back and you have a wheel collar on there. The wheel collar is important because uh, without the wheel collar, this bell that rotates up here can slide right out. So you're going to have some place to put that, so you're going to end up drilling uh, at least a three inch hole through the motor mount uh, into the nacelle to accommodate that shaft. And if that happens, I, I, I'd mount the motor before I did the 
horizontal stabilizer so that if the shaft comes out through the foam into the nacelle, uh, I'd add another piece of foam back there to keep the water out. I didn't on my first one, so if I landed it upside down, I had a 3 8 hole letting water in to the nacelle. So when I went out and picked up the boat, uh, the plane, the water all ran down through the wire chase into the bottom part of the fuselage. And then if you pick it up the wrong way, all the water runs out of the wire chases into here where the electronics are. So try to keep the water out. If the back of your motor goes all the way through and makes a hole into the inside of the nacelle, it'll also help. The water will also make a mess of your servo, maybe if you don't waterproof it right. Put another piece of foam in there to keep this hole from going all the way through.